Good morning, this is Brett from Softwit Media, and today I'm exploring Lumen 5. This is a service that purports to take your blog articles and turn them into videos, uh, such that you can then share those videos to social media areas, Twitter, Facebook, etc., and uh, get some renewed interest in those original blog articles. So, I've signed up for a free account, and I just did a quick Google search uh, of my website and blog just to come up with the blog article that's currently at the top in terms of uh, action from Google's perspective and I'm going to plug that in uh, to my new account here where it says to add it. Of course uh, uh, Google's dropping some extra stuff in here as I attempt to copy paste but here we go. So I'm going to copy my link in. There we go. Speeding things up. And I'm going to hit create, and what it's going to do is it's going to summarize my article into a few short sentences. Now, uh, I'm curious if this will work or not, because this is a long article with lots of stuff in it. Not short, multiple sections, it's been made in Divi, and so this is maybe one of those tests that will break the thing. But anyway, it's supposed to match it up by taking the key sentences out of there, and then it will go out and automatically find some background media, videos or sound or something like that. Uh, and it storyboards everything for you automatically for their API and creates this video. So we're going to see what we get. So I'm going to hit create. And it's giving me a quick tutorial as I go through this for the very first time. So it shows me what I'll need to do to create a storyboard or maybe choose from whatever it's going to show me. Oops, I didn't mean to totally skip that, but that's okay. So what do we have here? So it's got a whole bunch of my content from the article uh, to share on social media. I don't think it has the whole article. I will remind you that this was built with Divi, so there's multiple sections here. Um, no, it must have just gone in and pulled some pieces of it. That's okay. I don't necessarily want everything. I want this to be easy. So social steroids to print work. WordPress blogs. So I'm gonna, oh, I just tapped that. That was a single click. And so add another one. Co schedule is there to make it easy to schedule, not just a single post. There's something with great response then. So there's a lesson. Let's see. Okay, so I'm story. So, example of the worky stuff. So there we go. So a couple quick things. Uh, now this one here, it's uh, got a long section and it looks like it's giving me a warning. Uh, there is a hover over, it gives me the actual warning. The sentence says, too long, you must split it up or shorten it. So, how do I shorten? Or how do I split? There's no quick short or split button here. So I'm gonna take out that paste this in, and then pull that up there. Did it go? Nope, nope, it didn't move. Trick there. There we go. So, okay, I think we've got most of it. Now I want to take a look at my Okay, just making sure I'm not missing any important stuff that I think should be in this myself. Reality checking the API. And I'm going to hit preview. So it's loading. And social steroids to promote one. Great. And then only shares it once on Twitter, for example. Feel like I'm missing something there. 
Uh, yeah, I think I've got my order a little mixed up. Trick is... Uh, yeah, this one here needs to be up one level. I must have got my order mixed. So now I want to continue. So we've seen the text thing. Now they're going to generate some scenes. This may take a few seconds. Now, as I think back to that content, I don't remember anything that uh, seemed to fit. So... Drag and drop media. Oh, there's the thing. I was hitting the wrong button earlier. Select keywords and click on the hat so I can. Okay, I think I've got their tutorial figured out this time. I get to watch the whole thing. Great. Social steroids. Promote WordPress blogs. Okay, so how do I. Now they showed me, I think I'm highlighting. There we go. Uh, Co-schedules designed for publishers. That looks fun. Publishers in mine. That's kind of redundant. Design for publishers or with them in mind. I think I'm going to get rid of this top one. As well. Text position highlight. Not crazy about some of these background images, but that's okay. We'll see. And at the end, we get to have. Uh, uh, you can also have some sort of uh, conversion button too, or something like that. So I'm going to hit continue. We could also upload our own videos. So no frame frame, video resolution. Ah, look, so I'm I'm uh, on a free plan. I've just signed up recently. Brand new thing for me. And as such, the Lumen 5 logo is going to show up in the credits, and it's going to be 480p instead of 720p. So... Let's see what we got here. Your will be sad if you don't choose any music. Oh, so I missed a step. How do I get to the music? Ah, I see. So instead of continue here, so a little bit of a trick, I need to come up to this tab and let's see. Funky Chunk, Latte, I'm going to go with Quirky Dog now. Click on a song to add it to your video. Okay, added it. Uh, branding. Upload. This is uh, an image of mine that's pulled, I think, from Twitter, but I'm not positive. And that's okay. Go with something like that. And I think I'm ready. Oh, now the music's playing as I listen to this preview, so I'm going to hit publish. And the video is uh, cooking. A couple things I'll point out as this does this. I'm kind of happy that this is rendering online and not on my own computer. Uh, it frees up some space for me. I make a lot of videos myself, usually using Camtasia, like the one I'm making right now. And uh, when my computer then has to go into render mode, that really uh, takes up the resources. And uh, so I like the concept that this is working online somewhere and it might take five minutes so I can uh, let this spin and come back to it when I will. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with this video too. Hey, this is Brett and the processing on this is done. In the meantime, I've been out and about, took a walk, did some exercising and uh, some other things. And so I've got this video. So let's see what we've got after the thing's been rendered. So I've got this video now and the question is, what do I do with it? So they give me two options. Uh, I can 
uh, download the video, or I can maybe go back and edit the video if there's something I noticed after the fact that I want. Um, and I can s and post it to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. If I want details on how to do that, click here. Uh, sends me off into a Zendesk thing. So it looks like I have to download the video and then just upload it the old-fashioned way. Uh, so they've got a Facebook connection. That's nice. Let's give it a shot. Continue as Brett. And, but I don't want to send it to my... Uh, light term. Oh, okay, I guess they want to see my personal thing. To manage your pages and publish pages. Uh, choose what I will allow. Okay, I think so. Sure. I might need to go back later and change that to specific pages because I've got a few that I do for myself and for clients. Uh, so at this point, I need to give it a new title. Uh, uh, so I'm going to come back here to my original that we've got here and getting too many tabs going. That's okay. Testing out Lumen Fi's blog post to video API. Article, and I'm going to grab my link here. I'm not sure if the link to my blog article is actually in the video, something I kind of took for granted as I was doing this, but thinking back, maybe that would have been helpful because I do want to get more uh, people coming to the actual blog article. Storyboard and create this video. Well, can't do a uh, Page or returns here, so I'm gonna upload that to Facebook. Let that go. Hooray, your video is uploaded to Facebook successfully. It will be posted soon, so it's probably moving in. In the meantime, I'm gonna download the video. Uh, bring that in. Just curious as to the size. Uh, let's open my downloads. I have a whole bunch of snagit things going on in here. Looks like it's 1.8 megabytes, so not, not a very big video. I guess that's a good thing. And there you have it. So we will uh, see how this goes. And I can see already that I'm, this is gonna be a little bit of a learning curve so that I can make sure I'm using blog articles that are easily storyboarded, but if you will, um, that particular uh, article that I used was more of a roll-up article. It covered several different topics that weren't all on the same point, uh, just some of the things I was working on that day. Uh, but in the future, I think if I've got a, a nice tight article with headers that uh, concisely uh, already create things up, that will make the storyboarding thing a whole lot easier and faster and more effective too. Let me know what you think. If you've used this before, learned any great tricks or tips, love to hear about it. I originally heard about this myself uh, from uh, ProBlogger has a great article, free tool to create video for your Facebook page. And now that I've given it a try, I'm going to go back and uh, there's a podcast that goes with this as well. I'm going to listen and watch this in more detail because sometimes you have to try something to get a feel for what you can do and what you can't do. And then you go back and relearn the lesson with more depth and perception. And that's what I'm doing next. Hope you have a great day.